Lecture number 25. Announcements. Homework 7 is due on Tuesday. Project 1 composition revisions are due on Thursday. There are instructions posted on the course website, but basically you just revise your hog.py and then submit it again as Proj 1 revision. Homework 8 is posted. It's due next Tuesday, 11-12, and all the problems must be solved in Scheme. So this is your chance to understand how the Scheme programming language works, which we introduced last week. Make sure that you know how to use a Scheme interpreter now so that you're not scrambling to figure out how to even run a Scheme program at the beginning of next week. And you can do that by attending lab. A new policy is going into effect where improved final exam scores can partially make up for very low midterm scores. The goal here is to give you a chance to show that even though you may not have mastered the material the first time around, you've figured it out by the end of the course. But this is a policy that's really only going to affect students who might not otherwise pass the course. It's just for you. And uh, those students who are doing quite well but wish they could do better, well, the answer is just keep focusing on that final exam and the projects and you'll do just fine. But if you're in a situation where you really want to pass this course, but you've run into trouble in the exam so far, and you want a second chance, well, this policy is for you. So look at the details that are going to be posted on the course website today. And hopefully this will give you uh, some renewed hope and another way to make progress in this course. Because I know some of you are working very hard, but just have had some trouble getting lots of points on the exams, and I want to make sure that this course works for you. Finally, there's an extended example that we're going through today, and you can find it online as part of the Composing Programs online textbook. It's called SCALC for a Scheme Calculator. 